This week and last week, California, Texas, and Australia hit staggering new records in renewable energy production. These numbers will be destroyed again. By the time you watch this video, they could have been broken again. What this is doing, it is getting rid of pika plants. Pika plants which turn on, burn gas, or sometimes coal, and pollute the atmosphere, and are really expensive. They cost you a lot of money. You get home from work, it's 5 p.m., 6 p.m., electricity price spikes almost every day. That is changing in a big way. Wind and battery outputs have been smashed. New records for renewable energy have been hit in Australia. This is only the beginning. Here are the numbers behind the staggering surge in renewable energy in Australia. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. I said around six months ago that there would be a 5,000% increase in batteries installed in Australia in the next two years. We're only seeing the beginnings of this. So these numbers I'm about to present to you, they will be annihilated over the next 12 months. Output from wind and battery storage projects on Australia's main grid smashed previous records over the past few days, says reneweconomy.com.au, as a host of new projects propelled the technologies towards key milestones. Wind output hit a new record of 9,750 megawatts late on Thursday. Guys, it hasn't been windy here at all where I live in Australia for the last week, so I'm surprised to see this. A few hours later, at 3.30 a.m. on Friday, uh, there was a new record instantaneous share of 42.2%. So during the night time, wind hit a record of 42.2% of Australia's electricity production. That's crazy. The technology will break through the 10,000 megawatt milestone soon, apparently, particularly with a number of new projects, including the country's biggest at Golden Plains and McIntyre, South Australia's biggest at Goida South, and the new Clark Creek project in Queensland being commissioned very, very soon. So these numbers are going to be just annihilated before the end of the year. The rapid rollout of battery storage, though, both in the number and size of projects, says Renew Economy, is causing charge and discharge records to fall, well, basically almost every week. It's crazy. On Saturday, the record discharge for big battery storage took another big leap towards the 2 gigawatt mark with 1,982 megawatts posted at 5.30 p.m. That's right when we need it. Right when everyone's getting home from work, right when in a lot of places it's getting dark around 5.30 p.m., that's exactly what the batteries, they're doing their job, right? Jumping in at that time, just like in California. And that was up from the previous record of 1,821 megawatts. So the previous record was uh, way below. They've gone from 1,821 to 1,982. It's a huge jump. Earlier in the day at 11.30 a.m., a new record for battery charge, as in the amount of power, guessing solar power, predominantly going into the batteries, was set at 1,522 megawatts, up from the previous record of 1,441. New battery charge and discharge records were also set in New South Wales and Queensland, with batteries soaking up a staggering 691 megawatts of excess renewables that would have been wasted otherwise. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Instead of just curtailing and not using 700 megawatts of electricity, we can charge the batteries with it. It's awesome. So what that meant is that the excess renewables hit a peak on Friday afternoon uh, after recently hitting a peak of 669 megawatts. Anyway, the numbers are amazing. It's awesome. I'm just stoked to see this stuff because we're about to hear this battery bonanza. In Australia, we have $2.3 billion worth of subsidies going to for homes to build out all of this infrastructure, put homes at batteries. Four million Australian homes have solar. We're probably going to see a million of those have batteries within the next two years. We're going to go from 300,000 homes with batteries to probably a million. And in addition, we have vehicle to grid on the horizon. Vehicle to grid is going to be exploding over the next few years. People are going to be using their, their EVs to charge their homes, EVs to put power back into the grid, and it's going to be crazy. Coal power will, will go extinct, I think, quicker than what people think. So what about California? 
and Texas. Well, they also achieved records too. California hit a new record discharge of 10,900 megawatts, and that was last month. Texas hit a new record of 6,300 megawatts two days ago. New records in Australia, new records in California and Texas. And um, you know what? This is exciting. This disruption of fossil fuels, of coal and of gas and of internal combustion and diesel, everything that's destroying the planet, it's changing. It is happening. Things are getting better. Thanks for watching. Gavin Mooney, the general manager at Calusa, has put together some insane data. There is a, literally a tidal wave of batteries coming to Australia. I've been saying this now for a while, but someone has gone and actually done the work. Batteries are about to be increased across Australia by over 4,000%. I kid you not. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Thank you for becoming a member of the channel. We just got up to a record number of members. We have, I believe, 400 members. So if you'd like to join us as a member, that would be great. I'll put a link in the description below. Battery prices have come down. As I mentioned in a video last week, the price of batteries has fallen by 51% over the past 12 months. Now that is at the cell level. At the pack level, they have not fallen that much, but they still have come down by around 25%. However, battery pack prices continue to fall and at the same time, batteries are lasting longer than ever with better battery management systems, improvements in battery chemistry, and guarantees from battery companies for 25 years. We know that if you install a battery today, it will last longer than if you installed a battery last year or the previous year before. And in addition, they're also cheaper. Now, Gavin Mooney says that in Australia, batteries are booming. This map that he's put together only shows the large batteries being built. Now, there is one mega battery being built, actually only a about 20 kilometers away from my house and it will power 200,000 homes. But that's not one of the bigger batteries though. The width of each rectangle in this map is scaled to the battery's power capacity in megawatts and the height is scaled to the battery's energy storage capacity in megawatt hours. So a battery with one hour duration would be a square. Now before I go on, there is a flood of batteries coming to Australia's main grid in the next couple of years as falling prices spur a huge increase in investment. And this increase in investment is literally growing by the week. Now, Gavin says that with the rooftop solar spending, sending midday energy prices negative, battery developers are being paid to charge up in the middle of the day. And with a steady three gigawatts of new rooftop solar every year, there's 4.2 million houses in Australia with solar. This arrangement will continue for a while until there is enough midday demand to raise prices. Really, right now, we are wasting literally billions of dollars in, in energy in Australia. This will solve that. We won't be wasting all that solar. We won't be wasting all those, all the energy we are generating in peak periods, especially during the day, during the sunny period of the day, we'll be storing that in these mega batteries. Australia's first grid scale battery was the Hornsdale Power Reserve in South Australia. That's the Tesla battery. Elon Musk made a bit of a wild promise. He said, if we don't build that within 100 days, it's free. It works so well, they doubled the size of that battery. 